Ready and fight for immortality! Toss M is what attracted me to the project. The way he described his vision for the movie. One of the most encouraging directors you would ever meet, especially working on a big budget project like this where time is literally money. I've been really impressed by the way he has all the shots mapped out in his head, doesn't really waste time with things he's not gonna use. Tarsem has always been acknowledged as a pure artist. He's an A-plus student of cinema. Right now, anybody is making comic strips, and I thought I'd like to make what I would call a painting strip. You've seen it in art house stuff, but never really commercially with action. And I just thought it would be really good if I looked at something like you know, Caravaggio. Started with that. This film is separated from previous Greek mythology stories by Tarsem's vision for color, for composition, for pacing. Tarsem is like a conductor for a big orchestration, especially this type of a movie. I'm like one of the sort of instrument for the orchestration. I tell them the problems that I have and I want them to solve visually. I think we can shoot it. Go for one minute. Of course, you can speak it out. I prefer not to in visual film. I'd rather show it and make it happen. So I only give them parameters, and then they have a lot more leeway than I think most people give their departments. His ability to present his vision of each moment is incredible. So Henry, on this one, you want to stand up and go in this one. Ah! All right, shooting now. Three, two, one, action! <laughs> Very good, very good, sir. Yeah. Shakespeare, Richard Wagner is based on uh, mythology. So why not we cannot create our mythology? When you say heaven and gods, how many trillion different ways can you imagine that? Working with Tarsen, he had a very clear vision, and it was a very different vision to how this story has been told before. It's funny when I had people ask me, isn't Poseidon supposed to be old? Isn't he supposed to have a gray beard? Why? because you guys watch movies like that. That's the cool thing about this movie. It's a new spin on everything that you used to see to the 10th degree. Just like the Renaissance redefined the Greeks, we're kind of doing that in our version of it. And that kind of naturally will happen when you have an English production designer, a Japanese costume maker and an Indian guy telling you a story about the Greeks. So I hope it makes it as universal as can be. It's the mother of invention, this movie, which really, in this day and age, makes it uniquely original. There's magic in this film that has not been done in epics and films about wars before. It's Tarsem's vision, mixing tons of different things. Whatever we're going to see, the action, the costumes, the acting, the sets. It's stunning, it's beautiful, it's breathtaking. It's dark and brutal and scary. <coughs> it is straight out of Tarsem's mind. Once again, from the top. 